Thanks, Kent. And as he just told you, UK is itching to play Ole Miss tomorrow. Here's a look at how the Rebels got to round two, taking on South Carolina late this afternoon. Just over a minute left in the game. Gamecocks down 62-52 when South Carolina's Ramon Galloway misses the three here. There's a struggle for the rebound. Gamecocks get it back and pass it back to the outside to Galloway, who tries for the triple again and gets it this time to cut Ole Miss's lead to seven, 62-55. But South Carolina struggled to get shots to fall all day long, like here this miss dunk. With 30 seconds left in the game, they can't get the rebound either, and Ole Miss wins this one by double digits, 66-55. So the Cats will take on the Rebels tomorrow in round two of the SEC tournament. Tip time is 3.30. A former cat is coming under fire tonight. UK unforgettable John Pelfrey is the current head coach at Arkansas. The school announced today that it's reviewing whether Pelfrey had contact with a pair of 2012 recruits, which is in violation of NCAA rules. The report from CBSSportsline.com includes a picture with two junior prospects from a basketball tournament last December, but NCAA rules say coaches cannot have off-campus contact with prospects until July 1st following their junior year. Tonight, Pelfrey addressed those allegations. We're certainly very sensitive to those things and take all that stuff very, very seriously. Um, it, it'll be looked into uh, with, the, with regards to uh, you know, our compliance people and, and um, if there's something there, we'll certainly cooperate and be forthcoming. If you were at the Nutter Fieldhouse today, you'd never know a possible NFL lockout was looming as some of UK's top draft prospects took the field to try to show they can take it to the next level. 26 NFL team scouts were on hand for UK's annual Pro Day. UK standouts Randall Cobb and Derek Locke took part in the NFL Combine just a couple of weeks ago, so they bypassed many of today's events, including the 40-yard dash. But they did take part in some agility drills alongside their former QB, Mike Hartline. And for Hartline, it was his first chance since the regular season ended to try to prove he can make it in the NFL. I thought they went well for the most part. Um, you know, you always can over -critique, critique yourself on what you could do better, but uh, you know, everybody's going to have nerves. I think everybody knows that. And um, had a little bit at first throwing the ball, but I thought it came, came out of my hand well. I thought we uh, completed some really good passes and um, thought I showed uh, a little bit of athletic ability, so it's nice. Mike had a great day. He threw the ball really well. It was it was good to be back out here the, the last few few days, been able to work with him and you know get that feel back. You know, uh, he he knows who, what kind of balls I like and where I like them thrown, and I know how he's going to throw it. And uh, that, being able to have him around that helps out a lot. High school basketball tournament time in the state. The Kentucky Girls Sweet 16 in action tonight at EA Diddle Arena in Bowling Green. Madison Central taking on Rockcastle County, and this one went down to the wire. But the Rockets came out on top and beat the Indians 55-52 to and advanced to the Elite Eight. UConn taking on Pitt in the Big East Tournament, 74 all with 18 seconds left on the clock. Huskies with the ball, and who do they give it to? None other than Kemba Walker, who hits this jumper here as the time expires and gives UConn their third win in three days as they beat the Panthers 76-74. to And that's your Kentucky Lottery Pick 3 Play of the Day.